Great seeing you back for Devos, Godly Impact. So all this week, we're talking about how to leave an impression on other people that will affect them. And they go, wow, look, you know, look at that person, that they're godly people. And, and the Bible says that when we point people to the Lord and to Jesus, we're going to shine forever in eternity for doing that. Okay, look here. Well, today I want you to make as your goal that you're going to be positive. Now, I, I, I got a lot of Christians go to my church. They're good people. They read their Bibles. They witness. I mean, they come to church every week and live for the Lord. But I hate to tell you, some of you, some of you are the most negative people I've ever met. I, I know some non-believers who are more positive than you. Okay, listen, we have to be truthful, but we want to be positive about the truth. Okay, if it's not positive, don't say it. And we're talking about life. So let me just say, I'm having a rough time in my life. Okay, and I'm trying to get some counseling, or I, I want somebody to pray for me. And I pour my heart out to somebody in confidence. Okay, that's fine. Okay, but let's say you're the type of person, oh, you know, life's really hard. I'm, I'm having all these problems. And why did this happen? I'm really angry. At, okay, if you're living in that negativity the devil will use that to take you down. And you won't have your prayers answered, the Bible says. Listen, you want, you want to only say positive things when you're in the midst of trouble. Look at Ephesians 4.29. Look, it says, let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths. Do you hear that? But only such as is good for the building up. Notice here, God doesn't want me us tearing things down all the time. He says, as fits the occasion that it may give grace to those who hear. So if I'm positive and I, I, I try to help other people by positive speech so they don't live in despair, even though we still have to confront sin, but you know, you can confront sin in a real positive way, but still speak the truth. Think positive, speak positive, uh, and positive things will happen. Okay, that's true. Some people say, well, yeah, that's just, again, some secular thought. No, it's not. This isn't some sort of prosperity teaching. This is the word of God. So listen, I, 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 when I go through hard times and some of my roughest, people say, well, how are you doing? And I'm at the height. I say, well, yeah, I'm getting there. But I, I'll tell you what, I know God's in control. You see what I'm saying? Try to keep it positive. When I'm complaining to God about something, I want my prayers answered. So when I'm coming near the end, I say, but God, I know you love me. And I know you've permitted certain things to happen because you have a plan. Do you see what we're doing there? We're letting God know we trust in him and we believe in him. We want other people to understand that too. Look at 1 Thessalonians 5.16. Rejoice always. You see that? All you negative people, rejoice always giving praise. Pray without ceasing. Do more praying than all that negative speech. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So let me give you an example. I, I believe we're living in the end times. I do. I deal with dying people. I've, I have a couple I'm working with right now. I'm, I'm preparing them to go home to the kingdom. And when I look at them, I go, I may be next. I believe Jesus is returning. When I talk about the return of Jesus Christ, and I'm talking about the great tribulation that's coming, people look at that and say, well, if you're supposed to be a positive person, then how can you be positive and talk about that? Well, I talk about the positive, wonderful, exciting things in which we have to look forward to when we get to heaven. And I tell them, I say, I'm not being negative about it, but I'm going to tell you in a positive way, I'm positive Jesus returning. <laughs> and I think he's coming sooner than what we think. Okay, look here. Talk about your blessings more than you talk about your burdens. Okay, a positive person, notice they talk more about their blessings than they talk about their hurts and their pains and their burdens. So let's leave a great impact for the Lord today with other people that they can see there's something different about us because we're believers and we walk by faith that we are positive believers filled with God's spirit.